In this video, we're going to take a look at how to add headers and footers to your Word document in Microsoft Word for Mac. Now, I'm purposely going to keep this one fairly simple. You can get really quite in depth with headers and footers, but for the purposes of the video, we'll keep it fairly straightforward. So we have a document here which has several different pages. So let's start off by adding a header to this document. Now by default, if you construct your document with standard page breaks between each page, then whatever you type in the header for your document will appear on the header of every single page throughout your document. The only way to prevent that from happening is to use section breaks within your document. Then you can break the links to headers and footers from previous sections and have some sections without a header and some with. And that works in the same way with page numbers. But what we're going to focus on in this video is just the basics of adding the headers and footers. And I'll save that other stuff for another video where we look at section breaks in more detail. So first of all, let's add a header to this document. Now, because it's one section, we can go to any of the headers within the document, so any page, and simply right click in this header area here. Now you'll notice I'm still within the boundary of the page. I'm just at the very, very top here. I'll right click and choose edit header. You can also double click inside here to get into the header. Now there's a couple of different options when it comes to the header. You can type text and then style it yourself, or you can make use of the predefined headers that live in this header here. Now you'll notice we're in the headers and footers tab, which opens up because we're in the header. And if we go all the way along to the left hand side, we can see header. Now there are some standard ones, for example, blank allows you to simply type in your own text at the top left of the header. You can go for this one here with three columns. So it could be your document name, it could be the date and then something else in here. Or you'll see there's a couple of options here where they look slightly fancier and they actually make use of fields here. So this will pull in the name of the document, the title that we've given to this document. And you'll see a couple of other ones that have fancy page numbers or even this random feather design. So first of all, I'm going to go for a basic one and then I'll show you one of the more advanced headers. So if we go to blank, you'll see we get this option here just to type. So I could come into here and say 2024 financial report. And then if I want to apply some styling to this, I could select the text, go back to home. And for the sake of this video, instead of going through direct formatting, let's just apply a basic style in here. So I'll just go for this one that's in red. Now to close my header and footer options, all I do is click on header and footer and click close header and footer. And then you'll see as I scroll down, that appears in the header of every single page in this document. Now if we want to get back into there to maybe make some changes, we can double click inside the header. And maybe in this case, let's move that along to the right hand side. And then you'll see we can close this back down. And now in every page, it's in the right hand side. But if I want to delete that, all I need to do is double click inside and then manually select the text and press delete. Or I can go into header and I can choose remove header and that will remove the header for me. Now I'm just going to reposition the cursor back on the left hand side. And let's take a look at some of the other header options that are maybe a little bit fancier. So if we go to header and footer again, we can go into header and I'm going to make use of this one here, which has a document title and the author name. Now, if I click on it like this, you'll see what it's doing is it's actually using fields here. And we know they're fields because when we hover over them, we get the little gray blocks appearing just in the background here. But you'll notice it's called document title and Python dash doc X. So how do we update this information? Well, quite often when people are creating new documents, what they do is they give it a file name when they go file save as, as you can see here, we have a name. But what we're going to do is we're going to go to the file menu at the very top here, and we're going to go down to properties. And this allows us to edit our properties for this particular document. So if we go into summary, you'll see here the title is blank and the author is Python dash doc X. I'm going to change the author to me and I'm going to change the title to 2024 financial report. And now all we need to do is click OK and you'll notice these will update. So we now have the document title up here 
and we've got my name. So whatever we put in there is going to appear in here. So that's how we can work with headers to a fairly basic level. It is worth pointing out that what you can also do is, let's say for example, if we take this header and let's just remove it, you can actually insert your own fields. So if I go up to header and footer and then click on field, I can choose the field I want. So for example, I could choose time and date, and then I can go for the current date here and click OK, and you'll see it inputs the date just in here. So you can add in your own fields if you want to. That's pretty much what it's done with the header option we used a little second ago. This one here is just inserted two fields. Let's scroll down though to the page footer. So you'll see here we're in the footer again because we're just working in one section here. We can go to any of the footers and if we wanted to insert page numbers, it's just a case of going to page number and insert page numbers from here. So for example, in this case, if I go page number here, I can then choose to position them on the right hand side, which is the default setting here, gives you a little preview. And you can format, so you could change it from page numbers one, two, three, we could have pages Roman numerals or even letters. I'm just going to leave this one to continue from the previous section because there's only one section here anyway. Click OK and then you will see we have page numbers in the bottom right hand corner. But let's remove these. So let's go to page numbers at the top here and let's remove the page numbers and instead let's use one of the fancy footers. So you'll notice here again it's much like the headers. You can type in you can scroll down, you can have the document title in the footer if you want. You'll notice there's actually page numbers here. So let's look for one where we have the author name and the page number, like this one. So now you'll see it automatically takes the name from that document information we entered earlier and it gives it a page number. And it looks slightly fancy here, so we could go to footer and edit footer. Um, and then what we could do is we could choose a different one. So maybe if I want this one instead, we can switch out to that but you'll notice that the date field doesn't have any date information. So what we can do is double click inside date, go to the down pointing arrow here, and we can choose a date from the calendar. And in that way, you'll notice when we close the header and footer, we have the date on every page and we've got the fancy page numbers there. So anytime you want to edit or update your headers or footers, just simply right click and edit footer. Then you can go into the footer options here. You can choose a different one. For example, I could go back to this one that I liked or I can fully remove it using remove footer. And if you're editing a footer, you can go up to the header by simply clicking go to header and it will take you to that page's header. And it works in the same way, go to footer. So on a basic level, that's how you can manipulate your headers and footers in Microsoft Word for Mac.